Hello beautiful people, you're watching Good Vibe with Julie and I'm Julie and today is an invitation for compassion. So stay tuned and I'm going to be back in a few seconds. A beautiful invitation for compassion today um, I love this word uh, being compassionate having compassion because I think it's uh, truly a message of love uh, for ourselves and for others and I have the feeling that we don't really take the time anymore to send love to others whether they are close to us whether they are strangers uh, or far away from us we are so much caught in our emails, WhatsApp, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook and other applications that we forget uh, to talk to each other and that's why I wanted to record this video today uh, first of all to send all of you a lot of love and a lot of compassion and to remind you that you have so many opportunities throughout the day um, to do the same to just be compassionate to send love to people even without saying them you can just send with your with your intention with your energy you can send a lot of people you can send a lot of love to the people uh, around you whether they're uh, nearby you or far away from you um, we also sometimes uh, you know get angry or upset for people not understanding us or not replying to us or just you know you get upset with this guy who just drives crazy next to you and and you just start shouting in the car this happens to, to all of us, it's normal, it's a, it's a human um, nature. Um, but you have the power to change that. You have the power to put yourself in the shoes of this person who's annoying you at the moment, whatever he or she is doing, and to try to understand what's happening in, in his life. Um, maybe he's sad, maybe he lost someone, maybe he lost something, maybe Maybe something is happening in his life for him to be the way he is. Whether it's uh, you know something that's annoying you in five minutes, or it's the whole personality that you cannot just you cannot stand. That's it. That's physical. You cannot see this guy or this lady. It happens. Uh, you might have completely different personality. You may have completely different values, desires, vision of life, um, beliefs. But this person has a heart like you. And I would like to invite you to think um, about one person that gets on your nerves and to start to think how can you love this person? How can you send this person a lot of appreciation? How can you put yourself in his or her shoes and try to understand what is he going through? Maybe he's going through something very difficult. Maybe he had something in his childhood very difficult that he cannot he just cannot get over it and it has an impact on his behavior up to today up to date it's I'm not saying that it's not his fault I'm just saying that maybe there is something there is always something you know the, the iceberg is always much bigger under the water right so there is always something beneath what you see that could open your eyes that, that could be an eye-opener for you um, and even if this person never opens up, just try to put yourself in their shoes. Try to imagine simply the worst because no one deserves to live the worst. So if this person is not very nice or if this person is getting on your nerve, um, try to be compassionate. As soon as you manage and are strong enough to send this person a lot of love, then you can handle anything. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm saying try, just try. Just try to send mentally and emotionally to send this person a lot of love, compassion and appreciation for just being a human being. A human being with his own flaws, with his own problems, with his own things. And there might be plenty of things going on in his mind, in his brain, in his life, for him or her to be like this. So I would like to invite you to try and do that um, because I believe that 
this whole planet could be a much better place to live in if we had more compassion for each other, if we had more understanding for each other, if we had more, if we would allow more space for people around us to make mistakes. I know it's not easy when you get shouted at or when you get, you know, a wrong comment or something. I know it's really not a nice feeling, but it's up to you how, how you take it in. If, if you know it's not true, there's no way it could bother you. Like you could tell me, Julie, your hair is gray or your hair is green. That wouldn't bother me because, you know, I perfectly know that my hair is not green. But if you tell me, mm, Julie, you gained on weight. And then yesterday morning when I looked at me in the mirror, I was like, did I gain on weight? Ugh, I look very ugly. And then someone tells me this, of course I'm gonna really take it like, oh my God, she just told me what I was thinking yesterday. So it validates what I think, right? So whatever people are telling you around you, if you really know yourself, if you're sure about yourself, if you are completely confident about who you are, what you stand for, what you believe in, and the way you simply are, no one can even touch your feelings. No one can touch your nerves from close or from far. That's fine. You think I'm fat? No problem. It's all right. If you compare me to uh, some, some X, Y, Z lady, yeah, okay, I may be fatter than her, but fat according to what? Or ugly according to what? according to your standard, but your standard are not mine. So whatever people are telling you uh, that could be bothering you or their personality may be, as I was saying, um, a little bit hitting on your nerves, it's fine. It doesn't have to touch you that much. The other way around, try to give these people love. Try to give them compassion. Try to feel this compassion for them. Because when you change your feeling for them, they are going to change because they are going to feel like oh wow she's nice she, she appreciates me maybe I can open up maybe I can talk and again I'm not saying it's gonna work overnight I'm not saying it's gonna work tomorrow sometimes you have to do a lot of efforts but if you don't do these efforts who is going to make them and again this is going to improve your life and theirs but yours first Especially if you're saying if you're seeing and meeting these people on um, this person on a, on a daily basis or weekly basis This is in your own interest for this Relationship to get better for you to manage to change your feeling towards this person because anyway You have to work with her or anyway. You have to see this person that could be a mother-in-law that could be um, a colleague that could be a boss that could be whoever it may be if you start to feel compassion for this person your whole entire idea of that very person is going to change and this is entirely completely going to change your life I promise you um, and if you manage to do this with strangers as well for example I don't know God forbid you get stuck uh, you get uh, caught in, a, in, a, in some stupid car accident or um, you have a, a small argument at the supermarket or whatever you don't know what these people are going through they may be going through something very difficult that make them lose their temper. Because someone who is losing his or her temper, something's going on. Otherwise, she wouldn't, she would just, she wouldn't just lose it all. You know, she would contain herself and she would just move on. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to, I don't know, whatever. But if someone just bursts, it's because again, the iceberg idea, yeah? There is something beneath, there is something underneath that that makes this person react like this. This is the this is this is what I would like you to try to work on uh, if you're willing to, because I guarantee you that uh, your day would be better, your relationship with people around you will be better, and your relationship with yourself as well. And also when you go home, uh, you're not gonna dwell on this anymore. And speak about it all evening and then bother all your family and partners and kids like oh la la this woman she did this she said that she no it's just passed and you have a, a lot of compassion for this woman so you just love her you just love all human being and again why I'm, I'm often uh, talking about love is because we're all one we're all one we are living on one earth we're living on one planet we're living all together as a as a very huge and big big family and 
when someone on this planet get uh, get hurt it's like you're also getting hurt yeah we were all connected to each other we we may meet one day you know we, we're all one we're all one with everything um, and I think it's beautiful so to include ourselves in the whole um, ecological system you know in the whole nature system with the trees with the with the plants with the flowers with the animals I think it's very important when you start to feel this enormous amount of love for everything surrounding you um, your whole lives your whole lives gets much better um, because you don't judge anymore and you accept and take in whatever comes your way and your whole vision of the world around you changes and and therefore everything becomes better everything becomes smoother everything becomes flows much better so that's my invitation to you today uh, an invitation for compassion for love for the people you know for the people you don't know uh, for strangers for people that are eating on your nerves for everyone for everything around you um, this is my invitation to you today a uh, lot of compassion and a lot of love I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it gives you a, a little boost for the day whatever you're facing at the moment um, and yeah I'm sending you a lot of love and I will see you soon bye bye